Tesla is the most reliable, the strongest, and the biggest SUV in the whole wide world. Oh, now, nah, what? What? Uh -uh. Not this car now. This is your eyeglass. If you are not seeing, see the car. Okay. <laughs> this car. This is a 2008 Toyota Sequoia, aka King of the Road. Now, you're looking at this car. You find out that this car is very, very big. This is both an advantage and a wahala. Because you know what they say now? Nah? Big man, big wahala. <laughs> the style of this car, which was modeled after Toyota Tundra, makes it very difficult to handle tight space. This one is a struggle road with KK Boss, so they're just to smash them. But this car has good grip and balance on the road. <laughs> this Toyota Sequoia performs like it's high on steroids because of its massive engine. This car comes with a 5.7 liter V8 engine that produces 381 horsepower and 401 pound feet of torque. Now, there are only five cars. No, not five. Three cars that make use of this engine the Toyota Land Cruiser, the Toyota Sequoia, and the Toyota LOS. No, not the Toyota. That LOS 570. <laughs> you see why this car not be for poor people? <laughs> because of one. Woo! <laughs> Two liters is gone. Now let me tell you something you don't know. According to iccars.com and the research they carry, do you know that this Toyota Sequoia can last longer than any car in the world? This means that this car is built and meant to grow old with you. But you know they come with small money now. <laughs> Poor man has left the group chat. <laughs> Poor precious. <laughs> you are very short and brief like Uwezu, okay? And you are looking at this car and you are saying in your mind, I love it! I want to buy this car. Calm down. Call your family members for a short and brief meeting and have a rethink. I'm not trying to look down on you. I will always look up to you. But I will look down on you and tell you this. Once you buy this car, you will disappear. It's not like, like this car is not good though. It's just because I love you and I don't want you to disappear while you are in the steering. If you think I'm lying, let's go inside and check it. The inside of this car is modeled after Tundra. That is why it's very big, even bigger than Tundra. Now imagine me that is very, very tall. <laughs> My hand cannot even reach here. And now look at yourself. You are four feet. Five feet short. I want to use this car. Now you will use a joystick. Yes, buy the car. You use a joystick to press all these things. Or even a, a walking stick. This dashboard is built more like a sports car or even a helicopter than an SUV. If you look at this place, you have the speedometer, the odometer, although you everything is separated. They are in their own holes, built ruggedly. The bodies are boldly written. Everything here is built ruggedly. And not for fancy. Oh, that's why this car is built to last. Look at the AC buttons, all these buttons, everything, even the hazard button. Now, it has a massive cup holder, a 6 gear transmission that is firmly built. A storage space, ah, not with storage space, with this. A wardrobe. <laughs> and this car is built to carry at least seven people at the back. But that is if you are in diaspora. <laughs> in Nigeria here, where you buy for assistance, 620, you can carry seven people for this car. <laughs> hey! 15 to 20 people. You go even pack people go for a roof. This car can carry it. You know that this car can tow up to 9,000 pounds of weight. That's to show you how strong and durable this car is. I don't want to bore you with the legroom information because it's very obvious. This is not the legroom. This is one room apartment. <laughs> and also, you see why I said that short people should not buy this car. Can your hand reach this Panasonic roof? <laughs> it has a Panasonic roof. If you pack it back, the sun will enter. <laughs> If you are driving a Sequoia and your landlord is pushing you from the house, my brothers and sisters, you are the cause of your problem. As you can see, what do you need house for where you have a room and a parlor? <laughs> As a car, I beg the rent to make I take my siesta. <laughs> okay, sir. Oh, now let's continue. Sorry, sir. Ah, you know, if you are... Now, these seats are adjustable. You can either bring it down to make enough room for yourself or you can use it like this. But my brother, once I have this house, sorry, this car, I don't need any house. You are driving a Benz. You don't get hats. For your mind, you form. I be Lagos big boy. <laughs> Let me give you an update. Say that your Benz and buy this Toyota Sequoia. At least you have an option of a room and parlor, <laughs> even a wardrobe. <laughs> now, update I give you. Now, they built this car very, very strong. Check out this massive tire. A thin rim on this massive wheel. <laughs> now, this thing is very strong. Strong passer as a rock, my brothers and sister. You have village people where they disturb you. Now, let me tell you something. Buy this car. Carry and go home this Christmas. Any witch when you touch you inside this car or even spoil this car, call me. That witch needs to be sponsored. Make him go to Japan, go for that in certification. Because the only Japanese engineer will you spoil this car. That witch is a Japanese engineer. The Tokumbo price of this car in Nigeria is around 6 million to 10 million. With all these features this car has, you can see that this car is very cheap. 
Now my question to you is, we prefer to buy this cheaper SUV with a bigger 5.7 V8 engine or a more expensive SUV with a lesser engine? Do you think I've forgotten who I am? I have not forgotten. I am still the man of the people, the voice of the voiceless, but not the professional who turned a professor. This is my car review for this mighty, monstrous Toyota Sequoia 2008 model. Moto, Ndokin. Okay.